Um, we have a new arrival, and I, I really want to get him into this conversation. Um, Gil, would you stand up? Um, Gil Peters flew in from, one, he's one of these guys who literally flew in for the afternoon. I just want to get him on the board here to, to comment. Sure. Um, Gil, am I allowed to talk about this latest deal? Because we're talking about celebrities, endorsements, all that. Am I allowed to talk about that? So Gil's one of these manager-type guys, runs a lot of companies, most recently signed a deal with Magic Johnson as a celebrity uh, figurehead, sport, spokesperson, whatever you want to say. So this is really his bailiwick. I just want to introduce you, Gil, and get you in the room here. If you want to just, we, everybody did 10 seconds on themselves and then maybe sit at the table here. Sure. I just want to thank Greta for having me uh, today. I just got off a plane about an hour ago from the East Coast, and uh, but I thought it was worthwhile to come out here and learn a little bit about this. Greta's been raving about it now for a long time. and. And also, I'm very close with uh, Dr. Walkoff here, who uh, is a big advocate of what everyone's trying to do here. I just in listening for the last hour, it's 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 pretty inspiring. I think everybody has their own ideas and ways of trying to uh, trying to get this out and and advancing this whole thing. But I think that really. Um, the people who hit on this celebrity thing, I think, are, are going down the right path because any cause, if you get somebody behind it, you know, you look at, I do a lot of work with, um, with uh, celebrities and athletes, and I'm, I don't know how many LA people we have here, but I'm a part owner of uh, um, Katana Restaurant, and um, if you know Sushi Roku, and some of those restaurants are very well known here, and they're very celebrity driven. And that's how we were successful. I think we've got 14 different restaurants now. And, and it was all because of the word that was out. We happen to have uh, Ryan Seacrest as one of our partners. And he talks about it on the radio constantly. And you can't even get into our restaurants. It's so hard. And so I, I think, and, I, and I'm a venture capital guy. I, I look at different things. I'm very much a generalist. I have all different types of investments. And but I think if you can, I, I hit upon this a, a few years ago. Um, I have a sports apparel company, and we needed a big name. And uh, we made a deal with Magic Johnson, and we never looked back after that. And he's a very successful businessman. Um, I had a children's, I, have a, I, I back some guys from Coca-Cola, and we have a children's fortified juice company. And we just completed a deal with the Jonas Brothers, who are, who are big, healthy kid-driven type people. And uh, I, I, the model is there. And I think with something like this, you can, uh, you can advance your cause. And as far as raising money goes, guys, I, I hear the, the pluses and minuses about public companies, and, and, and I'm involved in both. I uh, help start a company, which you probably know, uh, Internet Capital Group, which was an incubator years ago and still going strong today. Um, out of Philadelphia, where, where I come from. Um, but, but there are advantages and disadvantages to both, but I, I, I really don't see how something like this, it's just like, it's just like anything else. You got, you got Bono, who, what's he doing? He's a political activist who's got a platform, of mu his music platform, Catapulta. If you could get somebody who could take this cause and run with it a little bit, I think it would help tremendously. And, and also, uh, I think it would alleviate. You're, you guys, you, you sit here and talk about $5 million. It's, it, I don't know the real number. It seems like it would be a lot more than that. But that just doesn't seem like an awful lot of money for something like this. And I think we're all, you know, you're all here. And you're all successful, very, very successful in your own right. I know from speaking to Ken, he's told me, this guy does this, this guy does this, this guy does this. And uh, so we're all here, and you're all... Your time is very valuable, but I would say this, that, that, uh, and I'd be willing to talk to anybody. I think that this is, I, I, I've raised money for a lot harder things than this, I can tell you that. So, so if, anybody, uh, if anybody wants to talk to me, I'm here for the afternoon, I'm, and, and, and I'm happy to, to talk about the finance side of that, some of this stuff. By all means, thanks for your time. Just to, as an example of what was just said, you might remember during the dot-com boom, uh, someone recruited the former Surgeon General, C. Everett Koop, and they set up a website called drkoop.com. 
I seem to remember they raised somewhere around a billion dollars for that company, somewhere around a billion, and it crashed and burned within a few years. And then someone picked up the name for a very small amount of money. But uh, absolutely, uh, a celebrity does not necessarily have to be a, a Suzanne Summers, frankly. Uh, it, it could be someone famous in medicine. And, and they come a lot less expensive, by the way. I mean, Suzanne would not charge, but I mean, uh, she, you know, there's people that there's a little controversy around some of her recommendations, but you get a credible medical person. Someone who's a household word, somewhat household word, it really, really helps. So I'm 100% in concurrence of the value of, of, of having that celebrity. What we were talking about as far as $5 million, by the way, was seed money that would be in the bank so that when we do an IPO, they could see we're, we're serious about this. We're putting our own money in first before we're asking for others. As far as carrying on this conversation, um, I don't know what mechanism, Dave, you have in place for getting people who want to be involved in something like this to contact you and, 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 and try to work towards this objective, if indeed that's what people want to do in this room. Uh, again, I'm, I can commit money. I can commit publicity in our magazine. Uh, there's a lot I can, can commit. But, uh, we, we need people to, uh, to... That's one of the agenda items for me is to uh, put together a small core, a small call it a management team, a project management team, what have you, and hopefully it would be uh, it would be very qualified, maybe retired, semi-retired, or not, or even active people who are committed to this to volunteer their time. And then, of course, we'd have some people to implement things, maybe some PAs, and we pay them. Uh, it wouldn't wouldn't take a huge amount of money, but then we need to raise a little bit of money to uh, operate that. Uh, Greta, I know. Do we want to take a break? Because we have one more session before we finish. And uh, let's take a, what, 15-minute 15. 15 break. <clears throat> and uh, go refresh yourselves. And I'd like to talk about this uh, core management team and maybe some hints on how to do it. An ad, an ad or an article in the magazine, Bill, would probably uh, maybe solve that for us.